Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. My name is Abbasinuddin. I'm a lecturer in the Faculty of Civil Engineering, the University of Technology Mara, Shah. Now, I'm going to explain how to design column based on your code. Basically, in column design, parameter to be checked are slenderness ratio, the actual slenderness ratio, the allowable slenderness ratio, effective length based on either end condition, and then we have to compare the actual slenderness ratio with allowable slenderness ratio. Column is shot and designed for the first order and moment if lambda actual is less than allowable lambda. Column is designed as a slender column if actual slenderness ratio is more than allowable slenderness ratio. Let's start with a column design. So the first step to be considered in column design is uh, we have to calculate total ultimate exit load. So this total ultimate exit load is from roof until bottom of the structure. Column size, I'm using 100 by 500. So this basically the column size we have to assume first or we can calculate up from uh, architecture plan based on uh, total loading. Height of column we have to refer from the elevation of the architecture plan. And this example I assume there is no moment applied to this column strength of concrete 30 newton per mm square steel strength i'm using 500 newton per mm square concrete cover 25 mm diameter of link 8 mm and diameter of longitudinal bar 12 mm so in a column design the minimum diameter of longitudinal bar is a 12 mm diameter so we cannot use diameter of longitudinal bar less than 12 mm diameter then we calculate effective height of column based on either the column the end condition is a fixed fixed or fixed pin or pin pin so in this uh, example the end condition is uh, fixed for both end therefore the effective height of column is equal to 0.75 L so L is a height of column so therefore effective height column is 2250 mm and then we calculate radius of G ration I is equal to moment initial divided by area of uh, column. Calculate also slenderness ratio, actual slenderness ratio is equal to uh, moment of gyration divided by moment initial. Calculate critical slender ratio. So that is a uh, lambda limit is equal to 20 ABC divided by square root N. So if creep coefficient not known, therefore A is equal to 0 0.7. A is equal to 0 0.7. If uh, mechanical reinforcement ratio is uh, not known, therefore B is equal to 1.1. .1. Uh, 
uh, C is a moment ratio that is a smaller moment divided by larger moment. So C is equal to 0 0.7 because moment ratio is not known. So, so we can calculate uh, slenderness ratio for the allowable slender ratio and then we calculate actual slender ratio and then we have to compare between actual slender ratio and allowable slender ratio so in this example it seems that actual slender ratio is less than allowable slender ratio therefore column to be designed as a short column. Then calculate minimum design moment where moment is equal to EO multiplied by NED. So EO is a eccentricity of the uh, column. NED is a total ultimate axial load. So EO is equal to overall depth of column section divided by 30. So this EO we have to compare with the minimum eccentricity of 20 mm. So in this case, EO is a 17 mm less than 20 mm. Therefore, the value of EO to be used in to carry out Minimum design moment is 20 mm. And then calculate minimum design moment is equal to EO and ED. Uh, EO is a 20 mm multiplied by NED. That is a total ultimate as a look. 1 to 90 kilonewton. So the minimum design moment is 25.8 kilonewton meter. And then calculate effective depth of column D is equal to overall depth of section 500 minus concrete cover minus diameter of length minus diameter of longitudinal bar divided by 2 is equal to 461 mm. And then calculate area of steel D over H is equal to 0 0.9. So, we have to use the nearest graph is a 0 0.85. Calculate ratio of total exit load divided by column section is a 0 0.2. Calculate ratio of moment divided by column section 0 0.01. So, from graph D over H 0.85. Area of steel required is 1,500. From here, we can provide the nearest area of steel reinforcement for the column is 4 H 25. That is 1,960 mm square. And then we have to check whether the provided still area is more than minimum still area so we have to check area of minimum still so area of minimum still is equal to 0 0.1 NED divided by 0 0.87 FIK so that is 297 uh, maximum area of still is 0 0.04 multiplied by area of concrete 10,000 so it seems that area of steel provided 1,960 1, mm square is more than minimum steel required 297 and less than area of maximum steel 10,000 therefore the area of steel to be provided is sufficient 
and then we calculate link diameter of link should greater than minimum 6 mm diameter and diameter of bar divided by 4 is equal to 6.25 so therefore we have to provide 8 mm diameter of link then we have to calculate spacing of link based on three requirements the first requirement is 20 diameter is equal to 20 multiplied by 25 25 is a uh, uh, diameter of main bar provided 25 so it's equal to 500 least dimension of column the column size is 500 by 500 therefore least dimension of column is 500 uh, the third requirement is uh, 400 so therefore provide link h8 that is a diameter 8 mm diameter with the spacing 300 mm center to center and then we have to draw a column detail with a dimension of 500 by 500 the main steel or longitudinal bar is 4H25 and link bar is diameter 8 the spacing is 300 center to center so this uh, graph to be used to calculate area of steel for column based on ratio D over H 0 0.8 or uh, based on ratio D over H is 0 0.85. That's all. Thank you very much.